Hi, uh, I'm Noah Mitchell with uh, Coventry University's Disruptive Media Learning Lab, and I'm here to tell you about this website you're on, Badges, Digital Badges, and how you can get started really, really easily making your own badges for Coventry University. Um, at the time of recording, the whole process is quite new, and it might change a little bit as it goes on. How you log in and how you might make badges might differ, but we're just going to go ahead and jump in and show you how you do that. It's three steps involved in giving somebody a digital badge. First, we need to register as an issuer, somebody who can make that badge. Then we need to actually create the badge that the person's going to receive. You set the criteria and everything that's involved for earning that badge. And then the last step is to award the badge. And that involves deciding who's getting the badge and submitting the evidence that they've achieved that badge, which will then live on the badge from that point going forward. So <clears throat> if you're completely new to it, you come to credentials.com3.domains, where you are now, and we'll go ahead and click the login button at the top or on this page here. Now, I'm already logged into my account. You might need to get your account authorized or come in through single sign-on. But once you've got an account, you'll come to the dashboard. Now, depending on your roles and privileges and what teams you're already a part of, you might see something here already, like I do, or it might be completely blank. So <laughs> it's really, really, really depends. But that first step that was involved was uh, registering an issuer. So I'll go over to issuers. And at the moment, I'm part of two issuing teams. An issuer can be anybody from a faculty, like FAH or EEC. It might be a school within a faculty, like Media and Performing Arts, or it might be a department like ours, the Disruptive Media Learning Lab. Uh, any of these might be a badge issuer. That's somebody that we, Coventry University, verify. And we say, yes, this person can be a group of people that register badges. And then the issuer is in control of which badges they register. So, and award. So we're going to create that issuer by coming up to the top right and clicking Create Issuer. The first option is to give a little image. So this gives uh, an idea of people looking for badges, who's behind this badge. So let's say I'm going to create a badge for the Disruptive Media Learning Lab. Um, at the moment, we're not a badge issuer. How that would look is we come over here to upload a file. I've got a little um, square picture that we can use with our logo um, just on there. Um, I'll put our name, so we're the uh, Disruptive Media Learning Lab. Uh, our URL is that dmol.org.uk, and then I might have a description, you know, what, what we do as a lab. So I've got a little copy over there of the description for us. I'll paste that in here. Um, we show an organization public page so everybody can see us as a badge issuer, and then we agree to this data processor. Um, so you just read through that one, and we'll click Agree. Oh, and the email address. So by default, it's just going to be your email address when you're logged in. Um, there may be a way to change this in the future. I'm not sure yet, but right now it's going to be your email address. So there we go. I've got the Disruptive Media Learning Lab. At the moment, we've created zero badges. We've awarded zero badges. Not done anything yet. So, But we are an issuer. So <laughs> when I'm ready to create that first badge, I can click uh, Create a Badge. Now, there's a few things here to get involved with creating a badge. Um, every badge that Coventry University will give, no matter which issuer, um, the idea is that you're going to use one of a few templates that are already available. Um, so not just templates, I mean badges. So if we look back on that, that website, you can see um, some of these images here. These are the categories of badges that we'd like everything to roughly fall under. So you can give a badge for something in the field of innovation, something to do with community, something to do with global, professional, digital, and health. Those skills are also level one to four. So here you can see these are four star badges, but there's also level one, two, and three of all these same badges. So these are the categories, and then you'll give this badge a title. So you might, within uh, digital, I'm going to create one that's the Digital Leaders Program level one badge, but I'm going to use this image here for digital. So I'm going to come back to the badge that I'm making, and I'm going to upload it here. I think it's this image. Uh, and we'll give this one a name. So we'll say this is our badge for digital readers uh, level one. And then we're going to talk about summary for what this badge is about. This is just a quick description that people can read so they get an idea of what's involved in, in earning this badge. And then they'll want the criteria. So I'm going to display it publicly, first of all, and then set the criteria for the badge so people know exactly what's involved. How do you earn it? 
And this is important, not just for the students, but also for employers looking at this badge later on. They want to know somebody who's worked for it. So for my example badge, I'll say that they have to be part of a digital leaders program. They need to enroll in the program through us, attend our three session workshops, and create their peer-to-peer -peer digital fluency project. And then they'll get their level one badge. You can enter it just as plain text here. Um, you can also use Markdown. Um, this little guide here, if you click that, tells you how to use Markdown. So if you want to make a big heading, do hashtag space and type something in, and it'll show up as a big heading. Um, I'm going to make a list, so it's just a dash, space, and a list. So you can see that here, and I could preview that in Markdown. It, it just looks like a normal bulleted list. So you can do that, or just leave it as plain text. But uh, if you want to use Markdown, it can do that. Uh, you can also list the criteria URL somewhere else on a different website and put that link in here, and that will take anybody who wants to earn the badge to the right place so they can get working on that. The next section is alignment. So maybe your badge aligns to a particular uh, framework or an educational framework that will give your badge a little bit more authority. Um, I've not got one here, so I'll leave that one blank. It's totally optional. Uh, and then tags are optional as well. I might add a tag here. I might say my badge is to do with um, digital. Um, I could do something else as well, but uh, I'll leave it blank anyway. Maybe community. So you can add different tags in there. Um, and then if you want to, you can have a badge that expires. So say like a first aid qualification might last one or two or three years. You might have a badge for doing something like that. And you might say after two years, it expires. It leaves the user's account. They don't have it anymore. They have to earn it again. Um, for most badges, you'll probably just leave them there forever. So I'm not going to set an expiration date on that one. So that's everything I need for this badge. So I'm going to click Create Badge. And then we can see there it is. Here's my digital leaders level one badge. So anybody who wants to see what it is you have to earn this badge or employers, what somebody did to get this badge, uh, that's all here. So I've got the issuer, the DMLL. Uh, I've got a badge. It's my digital leaders badge. And now I want to give it to somebody. So somebody's joined my program. They've done all the steps. They've done everything they need to do. And I'm ready to award the badge. Um, when I'm ready to do that, I'll click the big button to award the badge. Um, you can also bulk award badges. So if you have a whole entire cohort that earn badges at the same time, you can do that with a spreadsheet. But I'm just going to award the one badge. So I'll click Award Badge. And here you just fill out this form as well. So whoever won that badge will just pop that name in there. So if it was Jane, pop in Jane. Um, you can put in their email address, the date that your badge is issued, the narrative, this is just a little bit of a story about what was behind the badge. Um, why were you giving out this badge? Who is it for? Um, a bit about what's involved, you can put that in there. Um, but it's basically answering the question of how did this recipient earn this badge? How did they meet that criteria? And then we submit evidence. And the evidence will be displayed along with the badge when somebody earns it. So if I want to display some evidence, I'll click that Add Evidence button. Um, and here I can just write some stuff in. So I said they had to enroll in my workshop. I'll say they've enrolled in it on this such and such a date. Um, I could put links to pieces of evidence. I could put a link to a file somewhere, like a document that somebody's earned it. I can add some additional evidence. So if they've completed that peer-to-peer -peer digital fluency project, I might put the final results of what they had on SharePoint or Dropbox. Uh, and put a link in there, and I might just talk about it there. So later on, when the student is showing their badge to somebody else to say, look what was involved in this that I've earned, somebody will be able to click through that and see exactly what their project was uh, and what they did to earn this badge. And again, you could talk about uh, an expiration date there if you haven't set one already. And when you finish, you just click Award Badge. And that's pretty much it. So that's uh, rewarding progress with digital badges at Coventry University with our Badger program. And you can do a lot of fun things with it. You can work with other people. The students will be able to take these badges and other badges that they earn from other institutions and keep them all in one online space. Uh, they're open badges, so you're not just confined to ones that they earn from Coventry University, which is really cool. Um, just a couple things to point out when you're looking at making some badges. Um, we've got the steps here on the website as well. There's links to the full guides through Badgers. So they'll tell you all the different little steps and little bits that I may have missed. There's also a um, badge planning worksheet on here. So if you are a little bit stuck and you're not quite sure what you and your team want to make a badge about, there's a sheet that you can fill out. You know, what's the value in this badge? Who's going to get it? All that sort of thing. Uh, if you get stuck, check out the FAQs. And if you're still stuck, there's a contact form at the bottom of the page. And we'd be more than happy to help you out. So good luck. I hope it goes well. I hope you do some really amazing badges and get lots of great participation. Uh, and enjoy. It's a great program. <laughs>
Ein Hafer.